Today we are celebrating Crinoon and Oak, the Day of Creativity for Younger People. And Mary at the library asked me to do something. So I had to put my thinking cap on. And I know you're all great at building with Lego and making houses and uh, hotels and everything with Lego. But I decided to make a bug hotel. So instead of using your Lego, you're going out for walks in the country uh, or through your park or wherever. And you have to pick up different pieces of materials. You have to look for, if you go to the woods, some dead wood. Dead wood is very good for the beetles, the centipedes and the wood lice. Some st this is a piece of bark, but there's a hollow in the centre, same as the cinnamon. So the um, bees, solitary bees, like to go in there and lay their eggs. And they're very important for plants. To, the bees pollinate the flowers and therefore helping the plants produce vegetables in the garden. So they're really important. What we're really doing is we're making a um, house for all the insects to hibernate for the winter. Um, we're using this bark here. Um, it's, they like to hide in there as well, hibernate. Some uh, dry leaves. The dry leaves are home for the ladybirds. And the ladybirds um, are great for eating aphids in the garden. Some corrugated um, cardboard. Now corrugated cardboard, if you get parcels in the post, you, um, you'll see that this is the corrugated part of the cardboard. And that's good for attracting lace wings. And lace wings are really good at eating aphids. And maybe some hay or straw during the summer. So... You have from, um, Michael, you have from now until the 13th of September to do this. I want you during the summer, during your holidays, to go and collect all these pieces and put them together. Get your parents to help you to make a little hotel. And on the 13th, before the 13th of September, if you send in your photo by email to um, library at longfordcoco.ie and uh, we'll see from there. So I decided to make a little hotel. I'm using this box. It's a box I got Clementines in at Christmas and I just kept it. I thought it was a lovely little timber box. I'm using this laser to hang it up with. There were already two holes in the bottom so I was able to put the laser through the holes. And I started building my hotel. So on the ground floor here I have little pieces of of sticks, little pieces of bark. You might get them off a shrub in your garden. You might get them off um, on the ground where branch has fallen. And you just put them in there together. I have a little bit of dead wood here, as we said, for the wood lice and the beetles. And some more trunk of a tree, some terracotta there, and a cone and maybe some moss. You get the moss on a dry wall or on the forest floor and then for the upstairs I put in two sheets of corrugated cardboard here in the center so I'm starting to do the upstairs so just using these little bits of timber that I have little bits of trunk of a shrub and um, then I'm going to in all these little cinnamon sticks they all have little hollow centers so they're all going in here together so you're building up your little hotel and you know you can have fun doing this and collecting all the pieces for it now and you can take as long as you like to do it I'm just going to put a little partition in here using some of my cardboard, corrugated cardboard again. So I have two little rooms upstairs now. I'm going to use some of these little pieces of wood. So these, um, it's for the bugs to stay hibernate for the winter. Is what we're making this far so the safe place to stay and then they'll do their work again during the summer some of this nice arc 
So we just put that in there. And it's, you can take all the time you like to do it. I'm, I want to do it pretty quickly here. So um, that's why I'm in a hurry. And some of the dead wood perhaps in that way. And then I wrapped up some more of my corrugated paper and I just tied them with a little bit of little bit of um, wool. You can use twine if you have it. I put them in here now. So those little pieces of corrugated paper. I'm actually going to take out this little bit of dead wood. I can put that in again now. I want to put these together here. Now we're building up our little house. This is a little two-story hotel. I also would like you to think of a name for your hotel. And perhaps an Irish, an Irish name for your hotel. And when you're sending in your pictures to the library, emailing them in to library at longfordcoco.ie, you can um, also have the name ready for your hotel at that stage. So it's before the 13th of September. So you have plenty of time. Some of the dry leaves for them. Dry leaves are for the ladybirds. So we'll put some in there. The ladybirds are such a beautiful little insect and so good to have in the garden. So you can put in as many pieces as you like of the different materials. A little bit of slate to uh, to encourage all the little wildlife in your garden. And I already see, look Michael, look, there's already some little insects crawling around. And they're all very, very good. They all add a part to our um, environment and are growing our fruit and vegetables and some hay. If you're out, get hay or straw. And that's lovely for them to hibernate in. A little bit of moss. Um, yeah, so that's about now. I've, as I said, I haven't spent that much time at it. You can spend hours at it and fill it up as much as you like and have attractive, have it all very attractive and nice. You can decorate it then, um, whatever way you like. I just happen to have um, these little butterflies, but I'm sure you can make a lovely little butterfly out of nice cardboard and color it and paint it. And it will be a lot nicer than these or little rabbits, or little bees, whatever you feel like using in your little, but they just help to decorate it. And one thing that has to be done is it has to be kept dry. So I was wondering what kind of a roof I'd have to keep it dry. And in the recycling bin, I found this carton that chicken fillets, I think, came in. So it was the exact size of my box. And so it keeps it nice and dry. So there again, if you go, get little bits of sticks, some stems. You have to have a look, look around. Perhaps one day in July or August, you can go to the forest and have a look around and find little pieces like this. Some dead, dry, dead leaves. Some moss. And you probably have the corrugated paper somewhere at home, if you, if you look. So that's our little bug hotel so i want you to decorate it and put a name on it um cheering an oak or whatever a name in irish preferably it doesn't have to be but an irish name would be nice seeing this is the Na ireland's national day of creativity that we're celebrating um so i'm going to take this now and i'm going to hang it up over here Now, butterfly is gone already, but you'll have plenty of time to do that yourself at home and make sure your roof is correct and that it doesn't get wet. If you want to make a bigger one and you have a bigger space that you want to use, you can make a hotel like this. I've been making this for a few days now, collecting materials for it. 
this is an old garden chair that was in bits. So I went and glued it together again with some wood glue and actually tied it together with some, um, some wool. I was lucky enough to find this big old chunk of timber in an old shed and it already has lovely holes in it for the insects. They also liked, the bees would like something like this where you have a hole in a piece of timber or you can get your one of your parents or grandparents maybe to drill holes into a piece of material like this. I just built up this with pieces of timber. They're all loose. They're just left there. Um, some dead wood and I've that in at the bottom. Some terracotta pots, terracotta. The frogs and the newts like to come in here to the bottom into the shady place. When you're, if you're building one of those in your garden, place it south facing and that it's near a hedge or a tree under a tree. And I picked all these bundles. This was from last year from Echinops. They're a lovely thistle that grow in the garden, but they have perfect stems, I would think, for the insects. So just finish it off by putting in little bundles of all these sticks up here. little twigs that you can find for, on your walk and just build it up. This is white corn I think, stem of some white corn. And you'll be able to look at the lovely trees and shrubs and I'll, I see another spider here walking along. Some more dead wood. I had some bamboo there that um, it has a hollow stem. That's great now for making this yesterday over the last few days and I hope that you'll enjoy it too. Um, other things I had I rolled up some of the corrugated cardboard and again it's a bigger size this time I'm dealing with a bigger house. Like that there. That's for the lace wings. Some, some bark off the trees you might find something nice in your walk like that something interesting and see the texture and the different shapes that are in the bark and the colors there's so much to learn and I hope you're learning something from me today and I will learn something from you when I see all your houses that you have made cones did you find them in the in the forest when you go for your walk and with this size of a house, I just found two slates and a broken slate. So that's perfect for my roof. If you keep it dry, I decorated it with this. You can decorate it however you wish. So um, that'll give you something to think about and work on during the summer. You can use, you need to put little flowers as well, nectar loving flowers around it to attract the bees. These are geraniums. I was just gathering things. This is a little thing I had as well. Little Teddy with the honey pot. He's just a lovely little ornament that perhaps you can hang up on it. Um, so you'll be out gathering and you'll be gathering all kinds of little sticks and bits of bar and your corrugated cardboard and your um, moss and a bit of hay or straw and building your little house. You can could use this either. This is a vegetable box. Perhaps you could use one of those and build it up. This is a box that wine came in. It might be a bit deep, but um, it could be used. Or some people use pallets. Four pallets, one on top of the other, to make a big bug house. So I hope you're enjoying the day and that you will... Um, uh, you will um, be 
able to have time with your parents to go and gather some of this material and send your photos by email by the 13th of September. So you have, yeah, July, August and September. You have three months to do your, do your um, book at the hotel. And the email address is library at longfordcoco.ie and it's before the 13th of September. And we might have a little exhibition of all our bug houses then. And sure, all us bug hotel owners might meet sometime in September in the library and um, see what, who's, what's best. Pardon? Yeah, okay, that's lovely. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye.